Good morning and welcome to our daily Advent devotional for December the 22nd. Reading from our book, Waiting Here for You, An Advent Journey of Hope, written by Louis Giglio. Man's Decree, God's Design. Reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 to 14. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, in Judea rather, to Bethlehem, the son of David. Because he belonged to the house and the line of David, he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and laying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Caesar was the most powerful man in the world at the time of Christ's birth. A single edict from his hand propelled Mary and Joseph on a journey to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. And yet, looking back, it is clear that Caesar wasn't the mastermind calling the shots. God was using Caesar to make the way for Christmas. God was using Caesar's decree to align heavenly plans. Thank God for Caesar's decree. As today unfolds around you, remember that humankind can make laws, but God designs days. No person or power can trump God's plans for your life. He is ordering all things to fulfill his purpose and his promise for you. Our meditation today is the hymn, Whate'er My God Ordains Is Right. What God ordains is always good. His will is just and holy. As he directs my life for me, I follow meek and lowly. My God, indeed, in every need, knows well how he will shield me. To him, then, I will yield me. What God ordains is always good. He never will deceive me. He leads me in his righteous way, and never will he leave me. I take content what he has sent. His hand that sends me sadness will turn my tears to gladness. What God ordains is always good. His loving thought attends me. No poison can be in the cup that my physician sends me. My God is true each morning new. I trust his grace unending, my life to him commending. Let us pray. O God, I'll praise your name forever. All other names will flicker and fade and rulers great and small will be forgotten. But your name, your name I will praise for eternity. Help me see today that humanity may have the power, but you call all the shots. I trust you today. You alone are God. You alone are worthy. Amen.